two functions f and g are described below. Which of these statements about f and g is true? So they defined function f as kind of a traditional linear equation right over here. And this right over here is g. So this right over here is g of x. And that also looks like a linear function. We see it's a kind of a downward sloping line. So let's look at our choices and see which of these are true. f and g are both increasing, and f is increasing faster than g. Well, when I look at g, well, first of all, g is definitely decreasing. So we already know that that's false. And f is also decreasing. We see here it has a negative slope. Every time we move forward 3 in the x direction, we're going to move down 7 in the vertical direction. So neither of these are, are increasing. So that's definitely not right. f and g are both increasing. Well, that's definitely not right. So we know that both f and g are decreasing. So this first choice is they're both decreasing, and g is decreasing faster than f. So let's see what the slope on g is. So the slope on g is every time we move 1 in the x direction, positive 1 in the x direction, we move down, we move down 2 in the y direction. So for g of x, if we were to write our change in y over our change in x, which is our slope, our change in y over our change in x, when we move 1 in the x direction, positive 1 in the x direction, we move down 2 in the y direction. So our change in y over change in x is negative 2. So g has a slope of negative 2. f has a slope of negative 7 thirds. Negative 7 thirds, negative 7 thirds is the same thing as negative 2 and 1 third. So f's slope is more negative, so it is decreasing faster. So g is not decreasing faster than f. f is decreasing faster than g, so this is not right. And then we have this choice. f and g are both decreasing, and f is decreasing faster than g. This is right, right over here. We have this last choice. g is increasing, but f is de decreasing. We know that's not true. g is actually decreasing.